Lightning fans, Hannah Hill here from Hannah Hill Hockey with your Tampa Bay Lightning pregame preview. The Lightning fell on their first game of their three-game road trip in Detroit Saturday night against the Detroit Red Wings. Game two, um, but also it's game two and we shouldn't be doing this, especially you know, a lot of the good things that came out of the preseason and um, we've, we've made some great strides. I, I just tonight, you know, the amount of turnovers was just shocking and by players that have played a lot of games with this team and so um, you know, we'll get through that. I, when you look at the game, that doesn't happen to us too often of, of the way you know, we gave up chances or shot ourselves in the foot or however you want to call it and um, we'll be better. I, there's no doubt that's you know, why we've, like I said, we've had some pretty good success in this league and that's from being able to turn the page and and getting our game back in order. So, but we'll definitely have to be uh, better tomorrow night if we want to change the result. Expect Johansson between the pipes and all the action begins in Ottawa. And they are going into tonight's game against the Ottawa Senators without their captain, Steve Stamkos. As Stamkos is currently listed day to day with a lower body injury. With Steve Stamkos being out of the lineup, they ended up moving Brandon Hankel up to that first. Ottawa Senators are on the board first as Tarasenko ends up finding the back of the net, getting the Ottawa Senators an early lead in tonight's game. Anthony Sorelli ends up getting the party started for the Tampa Bay Lightning, finds in the back of the net, tying up the game at one. In the Lightning zone, the Bolts initially block a shot, but Brady Chuck was right there in front, scoring on the rebound. Martino, who was acquired to the Tampa Bay Lightning last spring, has really impressed me so far this season as he ended up staying right in front, getting a beautiful pass from Ezemont, and Tanner Tino just jammed it in, tying up the game at two. In the final seconds of that second period, it was former Bolt Matthew Joseph who ended up finding to the back of the net, regaining the Ottawa Senators' lead going into the third period. Third period was dominated by the Ottawa Senators as Captain Brady Kachuk ends up finding to the back of the net once again, and then that final goal of the night, which was by Ottawa Senators' Tim Stutzla. Fall to the Ottawa Senators 5-2, making this back-to-back -back losses. The Lady will conclude their three-game road trip this Tuesday as they'll be playing the Buffalo Sabres.